So early in my work at ICC, I had almost just arrived. I was walking around Washington, D.C., and I was with a friend. And this friend was actually from Campus Crusade, where I had used to, I had worked previously. And he took a phone call, and during this phone call, I could see that this was not good news. It was uh, something was deeply troubling him, and he gets off the phone with this uh, pained and bewildered expression, and he says, three of my friends were just murdered in Turkey. And I was like, oh my gosh. And this was kind of my uh, introduction to real persecution. So, you know, I've just come on board with ICC. It's a ministry that does persecution ministry, and I'm like, wow. This was a wake-up call, and he tells me the story. And this is, this is three brothers, brothers in Christ, who were in Turkey. And they were doing everything from social work, like I think rebuilding schools, for instance, to uh, sharing the gospel with those who wanted to hear. And uh, so while they're working there, and they were long-term workers, one was a foreigner and the other two were Turkish. While they're going about their work, they meet some young men, and the men come to them and they say, we want to learn about Jesus. We know you're Christians. Would you teach us? And the guy said, that'd be wonderful, what an honor. We'd love to do that, sure. And they said, well, we'd love to come to your office uh, and, and do it there. And they said, you know, we don't really like to do that. We, can we meet you at a coffee shop somewhere? And the men insisted, no, gosh, this is frightening for us. We want to be private. And so they reluctantly agreed and they said, okay, let's do it at our office. And so the, the men come to the office, these are young men. And as soon as they close the door, they pull knives out, they lock the doors, they tape them up and they begin to uh, use the knives on them. And they didn't kill them quickly. It took a while and you can kind of put that together in your mind and figure out how heinous that was. But when I think about this story, I think about the verse, it's Romans 8:28. It says, God works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Now, um, I think most people would think, Jeff, you're a little confused. There's a big disconnect there, but I, I want to explain. This case became national news in Turkey. So think about it. First of all, it's a triple murder. And it was nothing quick. It was a slow, torturous murder. Horrendous, extremely violent. And the men who did it, the young men who did it, said that they did it for Islam. They did it to protect Islam. Now, at the time, Turkey was a much more moderate Muslim state. Uh, it's become more radicalized now, but it was almost the poster child of, of moderate uh, Islam at the time. So this was so shocking. And they were really questioning, what does this mean for society, et cetera? And so eventually, uh, uh, the wife of one of the men, Suzanne, became uh, interviewed on national TV. And they stick a microphone in front of Suzanne's face and said, this was so horrible. This is my paraphrase, but you know, Suzanne, this is so horrible what's happened to you. These men ruined your life. Uh, they did something horrible to the one you loved and they've left your children fatherless. So what do you say to them? What do you think of all this? And she said, you know, I was forgiven everything by my savior, Jesus Christ. And so in light of that, I forgive these men. And think about that. When I say that, when I tell you that story, what happens in your heart? Do you feel something? So magnify that, multiplied. So this sent shockwaves through uh, Turkish culture. It, this was national TV. And you know, in, in Muslim culture, it's not Turkish culture, it's Muslim culture. It's eye for an eye, it's justice. It's right for wrong. And so this was from another planet. This was from another world and it shook everybody. It was a stunning moment. And the leading journalist in Turkey, do you know what he said afterwards? He said that one sentence did more than a thousand missionaries could do in a thousand years. Her one statement did more than a thousand missionaries could do in 1,000 years. So back to that verse, God works all things together for good. You know, I always thought uh, that verse meant, Jeff, you're gonna go through some hard stuff, but God is gonna use it for good in your life, that's for sure. And everything's gonna kind of work out hunky-dory. And that's kind, of, that's kind of how I took that verse. And I think a lot of people do, um, at least when I was a younger Christian. But you know, I've been involved in persecution ministry for a, a, a long time now. And I see it differently, because I, when I see this case, here's what I see that God reached down and he reached down into the filth of that horrible case and he mixed it with his tears. And he created a paste and he created a mud, if that sounds familiar to you, and he put it on the eyes of the Turkish people. 
and when they opened their eyes, they could see for the first time. And what did they see? They saw the Lord, they saw the Savior, the one who can forgive all your sins, the one who is in with us in the midst of our greatest pain, and the one who can redeem the most heinous acts and carry us through. They saw for the first time. God works all things together for good. And that means even in your life, that doesn't, that means bad stuff is gonna happen to you. Um, and it's not necessarily gonna work out the way you want. And yet God is always in there, the great alchemist, the great redeemer. He's always trying to take the worst things that happen to you and to turn it into life and to turn it into good, whether it's in your heart or even in your life or for those around you. But he is the redeemer, he's the alchemist. He wants to take that and use it for good. So remember that, remember that. You may be in the midst of a great struggle right now and God wants to do something great in your life and through your life to all those around you. God bless you and thank you.